title to that, I, I thought of a heart beating already. Right? And I said, man, so the heartbeat of God Almighty is in the angels of the church. I give that after my own heart. You know? So whenever a, a word comes out, it's not the man. No, no. Amen. It's not his flesh right. speaking this. It's the spirit of God in that man. It's the oh, heart God. of God in that man. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. And if you harness that understanding, mm -hmm. then oh, imagine, just imagine the power that we can possess. Amen? Amen. Last Sunday, I believe it was, the pastor was praying. Or no, I believe it was for the now service. The pastor was praying. He had the evangelists here. And they were praying for people. And the Lord let me see spiritually. Uh, just, just energy coming out to the Spirit of God. But he showed it to me like this. It was just some power coming into the pastor. And as he was praying, it was going into the evangelists. And as they were praying for people, it was going into me. I said, wow. And I kept praying for the pastor. Let your inflow be greater than the outflow. Amen? Because now that's dream. And you pastors know better than anybody else. You preaching the word, what, what thus saith the Lord, you, you, you're exuding a lot of energy. You're, you know, you're burning a lot of energy. There's a lot of times after church, you're kind of like, okay, I got to do that. Amen. I, I have that once in a while when I preach, amen. But you guys have it all the time because you got that mantle on your glory. And this is what the Lord has shown me. This, it was an awesome thing. This is how important it is to, to uh, love, respect, and honor. The man of God, the man that has to give account for his soul. Yeah. 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 Matthew ten one. The, now, now, now we're coming to a. Now we're coming to a. A, a, a hope. Amen. So now we understand what our attitude should be. All right. We understand what this holiness is all about. Amen. And we understand what it takes to stay in that holiness. We need prayer. We need fasting. We need to stay in the book. Study to show thyself approved unto God, not man. All right. God. God. Amen? Be not ashamed. I'm writing the Bible the word. Amen? amen? Glory. Amen. So Matthew 10, 1, say amen when you have it. Amen. Amen. I might have it written down for some. And when he had called unto him the 12 disciples, his 12 disciples, he gave them power. Amen? Amen. Did, did I read that right? Yes. right. He gave them yes. power yes. against unclean spirits yes. to cast them out. Right. And to heal all manner of yeah. sickness. He didn't say some. Oh. All manner of sickness. Oh. And all manner of disease. Yes. Did I read that right? Yeah. All of them. Well, some people say AIDS is uncurable. Some people say cancer they don't have to cure for. Uh, but we do. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Glory. If we believe and we understand the power that we possess. If the shadow of Peter. Come on. Amen. Oh, Lord, Could heal people. Yeah, Lord. Oh, glory. If the hem of the garment of God Almighty yeah. could heal people, Come on. Nobody Come on. Me. Come on. if we have that power, we understand this power that God presents. Because I hear, anyway, what we do. Glory, hallelujah. Cast out spirits. Amen. Unclean spirits. Uh, all manners of sickness, all manners of disease. And that, that covers everything. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. We have this power. Yeah. Oh my God. Now watch this. Thank Acts 1 8. This is how we get it. This is how we get I'm it. All now. Amen. Acts 1 8. Just say amen. amen. It says here, but ye shall receive power. Well, amen. Amen. He shall receive power oh, really? after, 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 oh glory, after. that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me in Jerusalem, in Judea, and Samaria, and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. Amen. 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 This is the this is how we get this power. This is how we harness it. Yes. This is how we understand it. Yes. Okay, Lord, I have to seek your face. I have to be filled with your spirit. Yes. And we speak in tongues. We get the evidence. Fine. Beautiful. Now, now we get this power. Yes. You dwelling in us. Yes. Paul said, Know ye not that the temple of the living God is in all right. Amen. He had to correct these folks. I, what's wrong with twice? Hallelujah. Yeah. No, he not. He said, uh, what? No, he not. Oh, my God. Look. He was, he was correcting these, these Corinths. Hallelujah. Yeah. The Corinthians. Yeah. Because we have the, the living God. God Almighty. My God. Dwelling in us. 
And Joshua, he says, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Amen. And the Lord just blessed with understanding on this years ago. As for me, amen. And, and me, the real me, the real elder, the real pastor, the real Tino, amen, spirit, and my house, this flesh, yeah. we will serve the Lord. Right. I will subject this flesh yeah. to the spirit, yeah. amen? Yeah. This is what I want to do. This is our fight, amen? Yeah. And, and that's scripture anyway, amen? amen? So we have to have this, when we have the right attitude, when we have the right uh, approach to God and to God's people. When we can, when we can stop with this garbage about you're black, you're white, you're Hispanic, you're Chinese, you're this, that, and the other. When we can stop that mess, I heard too much of it. Right. It drives me insane. It really does. I heard one time a prominent figure in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in an organization. Amen. There's three million African Americans in, in Chicago. We gotta win them all. And I'm waiting for the figure for the. We put a figure for the Asian and the Latino. Nothing. Stop right there. I said, now I don't read that. I don't read only one nation. Right. All nations. Oh. Go there for teach. Teach all, 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 all nations. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. The, and I know what Pastor does. He can't do it too much. Now. Watch out. Now. But it ain't a white thing, blue thing, yellow thing. He'll get all red like that. I love it because it's so true. It's a Jesus thing. Right. Yes. There's no respect for the person. No. It doesn't matter if you're from here or there. Right. Right. All that matters is if you love God and you are sincere in it. Amen. 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 And you want to do the work of God. Wow. Amen. So I, I, I'll close off with this. We have to make sure our attitude is right. Right. If you get upset at the drop of a dime, my God, oh, all flesh. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. If you have the audacity. To get mad at a brother or sister over something so minute, you got a problem. Right. Amen. Amen. And the only way to fix that is by God Almighty. Yeah. Is by praying, fasting. Hallelujah. Did we read it? Yeah. Prayer, fasting, right. yeah. regular Bible study, regular yeah. prayer. Amen. Make this a part of your life. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. My wife talked to me real good the other day. And she said, ma'am, when you come home, you cut the TV on and you're there. I said, man, I never realized that. So I changed it up, did I not? Yeah. I sure did. Amen? Because it, it, it was, that's not me trying to be like, did everybody. It's just, I'm yeah, relaxed. I was driving, hallelujah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I changed it up. Amen? I don't want to cause any kind of tension or, or grief right. or whatever toward anybody. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. <laughs> Help me, Lord. Help me. Yeah. Make sure our attitude is right. Yeah. Make sure we're honoring those that are near us. Amen. Not just pastor, not just the ministerial staff, Amen. but one another. Amen. 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 If you have a problem with someone, scripture says, go to that someone and make it right. Amen. And if it's that bad, bring a witness. Wow. Right. Amen. And if it's continually bad, pastor got to bring it before the church. Amen. And if it's even worse than that, then you got to be out and mark. Hallelujah. I hope I don't get to that. If one that you call a brother is unruly, unruly. no, not even eat bread. Don't even eat bread. Amen? Amen? That's what I read. So if, if we have an issue that bad, Lord, go to the individual. With respect, with the right attitude. If you go with the wrong attitude, we're out of line, we're out of scripture. Amen? So understanding the power that we have, we can have a gift. Great. Use this gift, and as long as it's used for the glory of God, yes. he's going to magnify it. Amen. If it's used for the glory of self, you're going to be shut down. You're going to go through many trials and tribulations. Yeah. A lot of chastisement. Yeah. A lot of chasing. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Have you do it. So, get your attitude right. Amen. And I'm not trying to pick on anybody. I'm not trying to say you guys got attitudes. I'm just saying in a general sense. If, uh, if, if, if we're 99.9% .9 in the book, we're still wrong. Amen. We got to fully give it. Almost right is always wrong. And I got to read this scripture in Psalm. Watch this. And then we're going to close. Psalm 119.
Oh, glory. Say amen when you have a chance. Amen. And it says like this. Through thy precepts, I get understanding. Watch out. Therefore, I hate every false way. Amen. Amen. Paul says we have to be the same faith. Come on. The same judgment. Yes, sir. The same speech. All right. And then we go preach. Yeah. He says, woe unto me if I preach not the gospel. Right. Amen. Amen. So if we have the truth, we know the truth, mm -hmm. we have to be in the same mind, the same accord, glory, yeah. and we have to make sure that we're hating every false, false way. way. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wrong, wrong is wrong 100% of the time. Amen. That's right. And right is right 100% of the time. There's no in-betweens. There there's no such thing as a, a half truth. I'm just telling a full lie. That's right. That's all that is. Amen. So we got to get our attitude right. We have to make sure everything false we're hating, we're coming against. Say it. And if it comes against you, you better receive it with a good heart, with a receptive heart, because we are perfectly imperfect. Amen. And that's just the truth. If we think for one second that we can walk on water, well, uh, yeah. you're going to be unpleasantly surprised. Amen. That's right. Because when Peter took his eyes off God, he started sinking. Amen. Where is your God? Come on now. Amen. We have to make sure we're keeping his precepts. Amen. Keeping his judgments. Everything that the Lord has spoken to the man of God in your life. Take it to the bank. Lord, amen. amen. I pray that this is uh, even just a little bit uh, helpful. Amen. Glory. I pray that, uh, that this does that this something for you. If anybody wants notes, just let me know. Pray my strength. Amen.